Oppers. Oppers are driving past, guys. There they are, there. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a hot minute since I've made one of these videos. I'm up here at this new DIY spot I found, appropriately named The Jungle. Yeah, I've been sitting on this spot for about a month now because I've just been waiting for the right time to make my attack on this spot. So I'm up here this evening. The sun goes down in a couple of hours. That'll give us some kind of cover. Cover of darkness is going to help us out here today. But I'm just going to show you guys basically how this spot sits right now. So we called it the jungle because there was a bunch of trees everywhere, but it seems like when I first walked in here, I'd seen all these trees that were knocked down or whatever. And I was like, oh, did the lightning strike or something? Or did the wind blow them down? And I was like, okay, maybe. But then I kind of looked at the other trees and it seems like someone's had a hack at the trees. I don't know why, um, because they offered really good shade. Like this tree here was like super tall. And this part was all shaded here, which you'd need up here in summertime because it gets really hot out here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think someone hacked at that with an axe or do you think the wind blew it over? I'm not too sure. Fair enough, the smaller trees, you can snap those branches off. But yeah, I don't know if someone's like just come and done this here for fun or they're going to work on this, this uh, property here. I'm not too sure, but they've left up these trees and there's a tree over there. That's the same things happened, you can see or the branches laying on the ground someone snapped it off so i'm not too sure as you can see guys there's a bit of space up here pretty much when the slab got demolished i brought up this red curb here just managed to make it out alive so i brought this red curb up here i have the black rail in the car but this is the space so it was a lot cleaner last time i was here it seems like some little peasants have come here and thrown bricks at the ground and made a mess and some little scooter dogs have made these little iron kickers here so I've got a little bit of cleaning to do today before I start drilling in this rail. I'm pretty sure I'm going to pop the rail like maybe in the middle here. But yeah, you can see there's like a wall here. So you could build a bit of transition on the wall. There's a stair set there that's really dirty and old. I don't think I'd be bothered cleaning it up to skate it because literally the run up is just grass. I think, I think some little peasants would have done this because you can see the branches have all been stripped back on the tree. I don't know why. We're just in that part of town where it's pretty dodgy and there's little peasants that get around and get up to mischief and stuff so yeah a lot of animosity driving up to this spot with all the stuff in the car ready to build again i'm not too sure how long this one will last so i'm going to take it a bit slower on this one so i don't get my heart broken again i do have a locally sourced bench here that's good you can move it around and skate it i've got some cool plans for this spot providing that it stays low key i really need to get some shade cloth to put up across the front fence so no one can really see in from the roadside as you can see across the road they're doing a bit of construction and they've got some uh, construction mesh up blocking the view so i need to get some of that to put along the front fence so if any of you guys have a have a plug of where i can get some of this mesh stuff for cheap or even for free let me know it would be much appreciated Anyway, I think I'm going to start sweeping up and then planning out where I'm going to put this rail. Here we go guys, DIY Diaries episode 8. I think this might be the spot just smack bang in the center. I was going to place it over this hole just here, but I figured if that rail is there, this is going to be replaced with a double sided ledge. So I didn't want to have the rail too close to the ledge. So I think that should work out if we pop down the rail right in the center here. Plenty of room either side. You can hit it from this way or the other way coming back. Um, eventually that hole can be patched, you know. I reckon this might be the spot, guys.
All right, guys, we're at Bunnings right now, me and Zacho. About to pick up some Besser blocks and some angle iron and a few other things to get this ledge underway up at the jungle. So, yeah. McBunnings drive through, guys. We've got our receipt, and old mate here is going to check it off for us. Here we go. Cheers for that. Let's go to check the back of the ute. Sweet as, we're done, we're good. We're out of here. Here we go, boys. All right, guys, we're out here at the jungle right now. Just loaded in all these bricks, as you can see, a bit of the angle iron there too. I've just got to tally up where to put this ledge. I've got a bunch of farmer's friends all over me. Seems like every DIY spot's got farmer's friends. Yeah, I'm going to figure out where to put this ledge. The rail is still in, which is good because I put this rail in earlier this week. Haven't had a chance to skate it yet, actually, because I had to come and put it in at night time. I think I'm going to put the ledge in this square here. Then you can come around this way too and then hit it and then, yeah. So in the middle here is the spot. Rough mock-up of this ledge right here, guys. Check it out. Sitting pretty. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way, obviously, so we can skate it correctly, but I think this is the spot, maybe. I might shift it so it's in the middle of this square a bit further because it's a bit close to the end there, so I might have to pull it down. I didn't bring a tape measure. Zarko's out here getting flicks, so make sure you stay tuned for these flicks. They're going to come out dope. So um, yeah, I might have to shift it down a bit further, I think, start gluing these bad boys together. to get all the bricks glued down with our bare hands the corking gun done itself a mischief so I had the good one at home so we've just got to cut the angle up now glue that down and then let it set overnight come back skate it tomorrow so yeah have a go at these gloves completely busted throw these in the bin after which way does it cut <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the boss. Get out of it. Get. 
Oh my! Oh! <laughs> it's falling! It is! It? It's chasing now, look! Oh, there he goes! <laughs> <laughs> Without a good ladder. Oh man, it's gonna be a good funny episode. This has gone wrong. I know. The sand's got to go in a bit. Does it? Right, that way. Yeah, it's not as straight. These, they're not super straight, but let's hope they hold. It's alright. That looks good there. Oh, there's the oppers. Yeah, they're rolling in behind. Oppers are driving past guys, we've got to tuck our stuff in here, get in the bush here bro. <coughs> I think I'll be sweet like this. You reckon? Yeah. Have they come past yet? No. They went in the back there, they might just do their own. Gotta watch for the jacks. I know they've parked up there down the bottom, you guys can see. There they are there. In the cop van, what are they doing? We'll just sit here for a minute. Anyway guys, this is the ledge. Um, she's all done. I do want to render it eventually, so it's like a smooth skate park ledge. That'd be really fun. But yeah, this was a nightmare to throw together. Started off really strong, had all the bricks lined up, and then yeah, the corking gun just kind of done itself a mischief on me. So now, you know, had to squeeze it out of my hands or stomp on it, it got really messy, ruined my pants. You guys can see. I'm not too sure if the liquid nails are going to come out of my pants, but I like these pants. All right, guys. Next day, we back. Ledge looks pretty set in. Let's check it out. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, considering the glue was kind of all over the place, it didn't come out too bad. Check it out quite tidy for for what it is like I said guys I do want to render the top and the sides of this make it all smooth so you can ollie up in the middle there and skate it but yeah time to wax this baby up and see how she goes It is hot out here today guys, it's coming into summer. We're in spring right now in Australia, but yeah, spring turns to summer very quickly. So, had a good little session up here by myself. It's awesome. I'm really happy that there's a ledge and a rail because like they're the most fundamental things to learn on. 
can progress from there. That's everything you really need, you know? So I'm glad there's a spot with just a flat ledge and a flat rail that isn't in a park where there's nobody. Like, you don't have to wait your turn or you don't have to wait for scooter kids to get out of the way or you don't have to worry about running into little children and stuff. So yeah, this is what it's about, guys. Skateboarding, going out there, making it happen, getting creative and yeah, enjoying the ride. That brings us to the end of the video. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up. Make sure you check out the rest of the DIY diaries. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, make sure you follow me at Enochism. If you're not following the mob on Instagram yet, Make sure you follow Evening Mob on Instagram at Evening Mob. All the links will be in the description below. Check out eveningmob.com. Join the mob today. Pick up some gear. All orders come with free stickers, guys. Apart from the caulking gun doing itself a mischief and not working, the rest of the day was pretty, pretty fun. So, yeah, pretty keen to build some more stuff up there when the time is right. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll catch all of you all in the next one.